Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Murakami Chronicles. Today I want to tell you the top 10 books I want to read in 2018. Uh, these are in no particular order but there are some categories so I will go through the categories uh, with you. So uh, the three, three categories are uh, short story collections or anthologies, uh, adult fiction uh, in general and uh, also uh, diverse books. So let's just dive in. The first category is short stories slash anthologies. I really want to try to read more short stories. I have discovered that I really enjoy short stories um, quite a lot and I just don't read enough of them whatsoever. The first one is The Paper Menagerie and Other Stories by Ken Liu and this is a collection of science fiction and fantasy uh, stories and I don't know a lot about it. I just heard so many good things about it and I've heard Ken Liu is an amazing writer. So it has been on my list for a while and I just really want to catch up and read this this year. And the second one in my uh, short story uh, thing <laughs> going on here is uh, Dangerous Woman by George R. R. Martin and this is a short story collection about badass woman uh, by many different uh, fantasy uh, authors so I am sure it's gonna be um, a lot of fun not only is it short stories but it's also fantasy short stories so that's pretty cool so uh, I just I can't wait to read this I'm excited and but it's terrifying, quite terrifying to be honest. Those are diverse books and they are on voices. There are also diverse books in my other category, which is uh, adult fiction, but I'm not sure they are on voices. So I will only talk about the own voices for now and then talk to you about the adult fiction in general. The first on the pile is Exit West by Mohsin Hamid. And this is the story of a couple and I know it's magical realism and I don't need to know quite more than that because I am obsessed with magical uh, realism. I just heard so many good things about this book and it is on voices of course because Mohsin Hamid writes about his own culture. Next is also a big chunker that I've been afraid to read and I have had it on my TBR for two years now which is absurd because You'll see. <laughs> and it is IQ84 by Aruki Murakami. And as you know, I love Murakami. Um, he's the, um, in the name of my um, he's in the name of my channel. Yeah, <laughs> he's in the name of my channel. Um, I am obsessed with his writing, and he writes magical realism. And it is so well done. So I really want to read this, but I have been terrified because I bought the chunker of a book because it was flappy and cheaper than buying the three books but I should have bought three books because I would have gone through this faster but anyways I just want to read this. Next is uh, Gechar Gorchar by Vivek Shanbag and this is on voices uh, in the sense that it is about Indian uh, culture and it is super tiny. <laughs> like which am I gonna pick first? But uh, yeah, I am very excited to read this. I've heard very good things and I uh, really want to try to read more um, diversely. So that's why I want to pick this. Finally, in the diverse on voices, I think this is on voices. If, it is n if it's not on voices, I am very sorry uh, to say this. I will correct myself. In In the future but this is the Meryl Thieves by Sherry Demaline and yeah this is about indigenous uh, Native American people that's pretty much it I don't want to say the plot it's a dystopian so that's very interesting I'm glad I have some dystopian <laughs> in this list finally is my pile of other uh, fiction that I just want to read and it is all adult fiction um, which is very surprising because I read a lot of YA and all of the books in this list are all adult fiction. Um, I have grown to love adult fiction in the past year. Just in general, I think it speaks to me so much more than YA, even though YA is amazing. I will never stop reading YA uh, because I think they are important books. Um, 
teens go grow with those books so it is important but those have a very special place in my heart now and I really need to catch up with them and the first one being something that I have already started and, and I read halfway through stopped for no reason whatsoever which I always do with books I like I always do that and I don't know why <laughs> Um, but it is Out To Be Both by Ali Smith. I have started this in January of 2017 and I never finished it. I, I actually got to the like half of it and I just didn't complete it. Um, I think I was scared because this is a dual uh, perspective uh, book. It's divided in two sections, one perspective, then the other, and they are not related whatsoever. Well, they are related, but they are not related in time, and so I just, I really want to read this, and it sounds so intriguing, and um, I love that the first part so much, but I just, I don't know. I need to pick this up again, start from the beginning, and just go through it and finish it and I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it. Next is The Unseen World by Liz Moore and this is a science fiction story and I am not sure how to explain it but I know it is. it has to do with... I don't know if it's time travel or time jobs but it has to do some, with something with time and it sounds very interesting. I love sci-fi and... I just think this would definitely be my taste but it's just a very big actually it doesn't look that big but it's like over 400 pages and I just that's the only reason I have been putting it off which is stupid and I just I should just pick it up next is another short book and it is uh, Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan and I have meant to read this for quite a while but I've recently got it so it's okay. I've read so many good things about this book and I just need to read some good books and it happens in a bookstore and I think people leave messages in books which is amazing and I definitely want to try to read this very soon. Next book on my list is the final one which you should be happy about because I've been rambling quite a lot. <laughs> um, it is Lincoln in the Bardo by George Sanders and I don't know how to explain this. <sighs> I don't, I don't know. It feels, it, it, it is supposed to be very strange and very um, eerie I should say and um, I've just heard so many good things about this. I've read a couple of pages here and there and the writing is amazing so I like with Brooks this won an award um, in 2017 so I just pick it up and read it and I'm sure I'm gonna love it so those are all of the books that I want to read in 2018 let me know down below if you have read any of those books and if you did let me know your thoughts should I read them should I not read them um, let me know also what are your plans for uh, reading in this year and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel to see if I succeed in reading all of those big books and have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next one bye